It is an invention that could revolutionize the auto industry and maybe end your high gas bills forever. A water-powered car. We can wish. It's being developed by a Florida man who agreed to talk about his creation with Wave 3 in a rare television interview. Tonight, investigator Eric Flack has more on the technology and the powerful forces who want to get their hands on it. Whether you're trying to catch a fish or maybe just swimming with them, life can be pretty laid back along Florida's Gulf Coast. Hydrogen technology. That is until you step into the offices of hydrogen technology applications in Clearwater. It's been totally out of control. Thousands and thousands of calls. I get probably 200 emails every hour. You send it through the website, right? Yeah, that's, that's in, in a pile of over 50,000 emails. People just can't stop talking about Denny Klein's water-powered car. They want to be partners with us. They want to sell our product. They want to uh, invest in us. This car is just a 1.9 liter gasoline engine. Uh, in Europe, we've done some extensive testing again with uh, basically small diesel. It runs on what is called aquagen, which is water or H2O broken down into HHO gas. Klein's prototype, modified Ford Escort, is a hybrid that uses regular gas infused with aquagen when the driver throws the switch. In trials, aquagen improved gas mileage by as much as 50 percent. That's almost an extra 200 miles per tank. And Klein says an adapter for your car could be on the market sooner than you think. My guess is probably two years to go to the next level. He says a totally aquagen-powered car is a little further down the road. This aquagen car isn't the only thing they're working on. In fact, out of this Florida garage, they are doing things with water that you won't believe. This lawnmower has no gas tank. They've got a prototype aquagen only lawnmower, and aquagen machines are already being sold to power blow torches. When we were there, a local economic development team, along with government TV, was on hand for a demonstration. It's very clean. Uh, you can breathe it. The nice part about it, once it's combusted, uh, it turns right back to water. So there's what, uh, there's what we're all breathing. Klein says Aquagen's lack of pollutants is one of its most important qualities, and some big names are taking notice. NASA, Daimler Chrysler, General Dynamics, Lockheed Martin. But thanks to those sky-high gas prices, it's Klein's car that has grabbed the spotlight and thrown them into it. You know, timing's everything, and I think our timing's probably better now than, than ever. And that's got his team believing they may be on the verge of history. Are you going to change the world? Uh, I think so. I think we are. I, I, I do think we are. Now, there are a couple challenges holding up a totally aquagen-powered car. First is the unknown impacts long-term of water on the engine and also tanking aquagen gas for widespread distribution. Now, OSHA is one of a handful of government agencies now testing and certifying aquagen, assuming they approve it, which it looks like they will, could lead to much more widespread distribution and use. Jackie. And Eric, one of the other questions is how you contain it. Was that part of the, what he's having to deal with, too? Yeah, I think that they do have a way to contain it as far as infusing it into gasoline. Mm -hmm. Containing it to use it just solely aquagen, to have like a totally aquagen-powered car, that's their next challenge. All right. Fascinating story. Uh, keep us posted if you hear anything new. We sure will. Thanks, sir. All right.